Welcome to the online propane handling and exchange training program. Propane is a fuel that most of us are familiar with. It powers our barbecues, burners, heaters, torches, and various industrial equipment. But how many of us are familiar with the hazards it presents? When a product becomes commonplace, it can be easy to forget how hazardous it can be, particularly on a work site. That's why when working with propane, there are laws and standards in place that are designed to keep you and those around you safe. While the specific regulations differ between provinces and states, one consistent factor is the requirement that a worker be competent in any work undertaken. Being competent means you are qualified because of knowledge, training, and experience to perform your assigned work safely are familiar with the health and safety regulations of the province, state, or territory you work in, and have knowledge of any potential or actual danger to health and safety in the workplace. This course is designed to improve the competency of workers in order to help them meet the requirements of the CSA B149.2 Propane Storage and Handling Code in Canada and OSHA 1910.110 Storage and Handling of Liquefied Petroleum Gases Code in the United States. By the end of this course, you should be able to identify characteristics of propane as well as its various hazards and their control methods. List the components of both vapor and liquid withdrawal systems. Outline the steps for inspecting propane cylinders and testing for leaks. Describe requirements for transporting, handling, exchanging, and storing cylinders and outline emergency response and first aid procedures as they relate to propane incidents. Information in this course will be presented in six chapters. Chapter 1, Propane Basics. Chapter 2, Propane Withdrawal Systems Chapter 3, Cylinder Inspections Chapter 4, Transporting, Handling, and Exchanging Cylinders Chapter 5, Storing Cylinders and Chapter 6, Emergency Response Let's begin!